Hi, TC. That was the stock of yesterday. Will it be the stock of today? And what is the brokerage community making of the D merger, which has been announced? Abhinesh Roy joins us to talk to us about all of that. <clears throat> Hi, Abhinesh. Good morning. Um, what's your sense with respect to this D merger? The structure is it coming as a bit of a disappointment? Yeah, thanks. Uh, no, the structure is not at all a disappointment. This structure is the best structure. Uh, this will allow that uh, ITC Hotels continues to get the uh, energy benefit. From the overall group, if you see, they do have back-end sourcing, for example, from Agri. Similarly, in the foods business, if you see clearly the R&D and the expertise which the foods business has, and again, very good synergy benefit with ITC hotels food business. So those things will continue. If they had made a zero percent uh, holding, then obviously this would have become a takeover candidate, and then there would have been no control. So this is the best structure wherein the the synergy benefit is there, the stability is there. And definitely, the key concern which ITC stakeholders had that this was a cash guzzling business with 20, 22 percent of the capital getting allocated here, but uh, in terms of revenue and profit, it was uh, below five percent and return ratio also in single digit. So that concern also goes away. So I would say this is the best structure, and definitely in the next 12 to 14 months or 16 months, when the ITC hotels business also uh, lists. Separately, most all approval. I think investors will uh, appreciate that this was the best structure in terms of taxes, in terms of the stamp duty, in terms of everything. This was the best structure. Uh, having zero percent or having fifty-one percent, that would not have been the ideal structure. So forty percent is a is a good one because the current shareholders of ITC continue to hold hundred uh, percent stake in hotel business even after listing because sixty percent will be direct listing and forty percent will be via the ITC. So forty percent is is. Getting you all the tick marks in terms of all the above reasons. So, mm. right. Do you expect that there could be royalty which uh, now ITC could be charging from the hotel business because if you are giving the brand ITC hotels to a subsidiary where you don't have more than fifty percent stake, technically you can command that royalty for brand usage, the welcome go brands, uh, the ITC, you know, all the other famous brands they have in terms of hospitality. I think that's a fair question. Normally, we do see that uh, this kind of a royalty structure is there. For example, in Britannia, Wadias uh, charge uh, royalty. Similarly, uh, in case of all the multinational companies, also there is a royalty aspect. Uh, so we'll get more clarity on these uh, when we have the con call in the next few days. And also on 14th of August, there is the final board meeting, and we'll have more clarity on the market cap and the number of shares, etc. But uh, that assumption, I think it's a, it's a valid question. That uh, there could be royalty. They have many brands. So obviously, wherever ITC brand is there, there could be uh, a royalty. That clarity we would uh, wait in terms of uh, the uh, con call which will be held. Now, Abhishek, if I look at a slightly la- longer term time frame for ITC, could this be a P re rating moment for ITC because cigarette business is generating cash, FMCG is free cash flow positive, and hotel business which was a guzzler. No longer will take capex, which means there would be more. Rate. There could be marked improvement in return on equity and return of assets for ITC. Yeah, absolutely. We have the same view. In fact, that's why we have ITC among our topics for a very long time. So yes, in this uh, annual report which has come out at FI 23, again ITC has clearly shown that a rational tax policy is the best for the government, best for the consumer, and best for the overall industry also. So we have seen clearly market share gains by the legal cigarette players. And this year also it's continuing. That's why in Q1 also we expect a healthy cigarette volume growth. Uh, if you see even Hindustan Unilever, which is a FNCG staples company, has seen a 3% volume growth. So clearly ITC cigarette volume growth is ahead of that. So that is coming because of uh, market share gains. Uh, similarly, in the FNCG business this year, because of the commodity meltdown, we should see mar- margin expansion. So yes, uh, the leftover ITC, which is the main uh, business, 85% of the profit, and clearly uh, the market cap also comes essentially from the non-hotels. That uh, return ratio will clearly improve, and this has been a key concern. But I don't think the hotel demerger should be seen as a precursor for uh, the demerger or value unlock of other business because. Hotel business has its own uh, 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 issue of very high uh, capital requirement and very high volatility in business because it is cyclical and low return ratio business. The rest of the other businesses, if you see, don't really have this kind of issue which hotel business had. So that is one thing which we also need to know. Thanks very much for giving us that clarity, Abhinesh. Good to have you on board. We'll be certainly watching her very closely for ITC. 
in today's trading session. All right, it's about 9.02 on the